Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 26, 2019, and this is Monica Flannery. I have not chatted with you for quite a while, so hello. Um, I wanted to start with a brief card reading. Haven't done one of those in a long time. Haven't been on here for quite a long time, but I thought this would be fun. Um, so I pulled dolphin, these are my dolphin cards, the boxes falling apart. I've had them for so many years. <clears throat> I find it's a fun way to um, play. It's a good way to play with your intuition, actually, when you're shuffling the cards. Uh, ones that you're, you may want to think about will jump out at you. So the main thing that came out was sensitivity. I am hearing a lot about people um, having triggers from their sensitivities. Anyone else feeling triggered? We're getting that a lot the past year, I've noticed. Um, growth, isn't it awesome? But anyway, um, sensitivities are coming up and a lot of times they will manifest as triggers. So usually the last time, you know, the, the most inconvenient time to process is when we're feeling triggered. Although I believe that is our ultimate goal that we are needing to look at. So when things happen and we're finding we're getting triggered, our emotions get um, charged, and I, I like to bring in the element of energy. So if we could start looking at our emotions as energy, it becomes easier to become more objective about what we're feeling and actually being, you know, very objective about all the feelings that are coming up, looking at ourselves, how we're responding. And instead of getting defensive, which is really the reason why we shut down and um, we don't change our triggers because we always want to point, you know, to everyone else why they're making us respond in the way we're responding. So this is um, a little tip. And if you're finding that your emotions are really um, bubbling over, and I've had these opportunities lately too. It's it's interesting. Old patterns, you know, we we go through cycles and we're constantly working on how we can improve how we, you know, create our experience and what what we want to experience in our life. And when something becomes um, painful enough, usually it's an indication for us to change something. And it's birthing. When we become so uncomfortable, this is a birthing process. It's an invitation for us to take um, a deeper look with a broader um, perspective of why are we responding in this way. And actually, first thing we should do is pause. I always say, push that pause button. And that in itself takes a lot of work. So um, that would be the first step, push the pause button. And a lot of times if you need to um, let the, whoever, if we're responding to someone else, I need however much time you think you need to process this and I'll get back to you. So then that way we're not getting into that old pattern of whether it's anger, it's tears, it's um, shutting down, um, not being able to respond. Everyone has their own ways of responding to triggers. So if we pause, get a journal out and look at, okay, physically, how are, how are we feeling? What's coming up? Be objective, you know, um, of what we're projecting out there, the physical response and actually go a little bit deeper and look at the physical, the emotional, the mental, mental thoughts going on when these things come up. 
and that will be our first clue, and then spiritual. So the more we can look at ourselves as energetic beings, we can find usually more power to change um, these old patterns. When we get stuck in the feeling the feelings and looking at it from the emotional um, bias, we usually create the resistance where we don't want to change. And if we don't change, then nothing's going to change. So when we expand and look at this is just programs, it's from experiences we had, um, ways that we cope with things that we don't like or we don't want to deal with, and we can always change. So the dolphins suggest, right, play. Now, <laughs> when we're in the middle of a trigger, right, and we're feeling either emotions, like I said, you could be crying, it could be inside, you hold it all inside, you want to shut down, you don't want to show what you're feeling, it could be anger, it could, you know, and you don't want to project that out. When you get angry, right, a good um, exercise is to take an assessment after you have your response and look at all, all the ways that it's impacted other people around us and the situation. Now, I've found a couple times, even when driving, because driving creates a lot of PTSD um, anxiety for me, and I've been working on that for years. It's and 11 o'clock. Gotten much better. So one time I was in the car and having like a heated uh, um, disagreement. It wasn't, you know, a fight or anything, but disagreement. And then as you're feeling very strongly about it, you notice that voices are raising and it's getting more you can feel the the energy just building up so when you start to think about energy it's really amazing to see how we are impacted deeply and how we impact everything around us so as we're having this heated um disagreement in the car actually i could feel like um my biggest fear, right? Tractor trailers. And one actually came on over and was like, okay, stop, pause. We're going to pause this for now. I'm not pulling in any angry or past energies um, or experiences into my life. I refuse. I'm going to create, a, and my mantra is peace and ease, peace and ease. And it's been that way for a long time because that is the energy that is the experience that I want to um, feel and um, live in my life. And that's the, what I want to put out too. I just want um, to find ways to create that in whatever situation comes up. And that's been my, um, probably one of my biggest goals. So from there, um, the life purpose cards. So the first um, card that came up was time to decide. Time to decide. So this last year, a lot of things have been coming up for people. And um, the more uncomfortable we become, the more um, it pushes us um, to really look, do we need to make a change in any of the areas in our lives? And, you know, it'll be right there in our face to know which <laughs> which category we need to focus on because it's the one creating the most appearing to be havoc, right, in our life. And again, we bring in the play and it becomes much more smoother to look at it objectively and really see what is it that needs to be changed or that I, you know, you would like to have changed in your life. It could be your relationships, your job, um, your personal goals, um, yourself. You know, we're always looking at our shadow aspects and how we can change our responses to something that feels better, right? 
because that's our ultimate goal. Part of wellness is we want to feel good in every area of our life. That includes our thoughts, mentally, emotionally. Okay, so if anything's coming up lately, choice points, it's saying now's the time to decide. And you pretty much probably know in your gut what it is that you want to do and which direction you would like to go in. So make a decision based on your heart's true desires, something that's going to bring whatever your um, goals are. Um, journal, what you would like to experience in, in your job, in your relationships, what, what core values are important for you. And they change sometimes over the course of our life. So that is a good place to start. What is the core value that resonates for you and you want to bring into focus in your life? So as you contemplate about which choice or any choices that you need to make, maybe you're right on track and you're very happy with where you're at. You just need to tweak little things here and there. Well, are you being called into a greater leadership role? Contemplate that where you could step into your own power and open up more leadership um, qualities and abilities within yourself. Take charge of the situation. You have everything you need. And a lot of times when we are presented with these opportunities to expand our wings, right? The first thing usually is feeling that tension and that resistance and anxiety and what I've been hearing too is when you feel that anxiety, it's the same feeling as exhilaration, right? It's just how we tend to perceive. So if we look at it as, oh my goodness, this is exciting and this is going to be quite an adventure and it's, let's do this. Um, same energy. They both feel the same. It's just how we subjectively look at um, that feeling. It can either feel like anxiety, right? And then we think that's a bad feeling. And then we think about all the things, you know, connect all the bad um, with any of the experiences and it makes us not want to try. Or, you know, it's that exhilarating feeling like the jumping, you know, when you jump and you fly and, you know, it feels a little scary, but it feels, wow you know, freeing. And um, how can we um, learn to step into that without that fear and, 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 and turn that into, this is, you know, a wonderful adventure. And I can't wait to see what, what comes next, right? Because how we project is how we experience if you experience more um, playfulness and more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just excitement, right? And not knowing and keep practicing that because the more you practice that, um, the better you get. The bigger, bigger leaps we'll be willing to, to take, which is what life's all about. Life is all about growth. So you might as well enjoy it and look forward to it. And that completes our reading because once we can reach that um, perception, right, where we don't have that fear, we're trying, we're learning, we're trying to get rid of the fear, right? And then we realize what is fear anyway? Where's that fear coming from? And dig back. Okay, where did that start? And did that really have validity? Maybe back then, but each experience is something different and new. And if things keep popping up, 
it's telling us it's something needs to change and then that the energy of it will change around you so I invite you to see where you can create more freedom within yourself in your body right you could do meditation and breathing if you have physical pain you know even look at your clothing the way you move everything more movement in your life but um, what makes you feel better it's possible and then the more you do it you're reaching that higher goal and then the thoughts right are you willing to open up to new opportunities new experiences new ways of thinking freedom emotionally how do we view you know the emotions because when we get stuck in feeling these emotions that's when it holds us down to blame guilt and there's you know if, it, if it's energy there's no reason to hold on to any of that it's how can we change that to something higher that's healing for us and for everyone around us so i invite you to play with this and you're free to do what you choose so practice the pause button um practice looking at your emotions as if they're energy and kind of look and see how do people respond you know um do things improve or does it make things more chaotic and when it's chaotic does it become more chaotic well how can we change change that and neutralize neutralize and then lift up we want to feel joy we want to feel peace we want to feel ease and sounds like we're ready to make some choices that will bring this all in and whatever it is that you want to do next so hope you enjoyed this reading it's been a long time since i've created a, a video for my youtube channel serenity rn i invite you to tune in and i have other things planned um soon just i've been busy um roaming around in an rv so <laughs> it's been um quite enlightening and a lot of growth. I see a lot of growth and I'm so grateful. So I, as always, I see peace and ease in every cell of your body right here, right now. And so it is. Enjoy this Tuesday. Let's tackle our Tuesday. You're going to have a great week. Right. Until next time. <laughs>